Bangkok is the capital of Thailand. It's got some beautiful architecture and amazing food, known for its waterways, with millions of people in and around the city. It's also home to the Impact Arena, which is uh, also a vast complex uh, with an arena, convention center, exhibition halls, one of the largest in Asia. And it's also the home of the Total Energies BWF Thomason Uber Cup Finals 2022. We're into day three of action of what's essentially the World Team Championships. On Thursday, we will have the quarterfinals. Uh, that'll be followed by the semifinals on Friday. Saturday, we'll see the Uber Cup Finals for the women and the Thomas Cup Finals will be on Sunday. There are 16 teams in each competition. Thomas Cup, of course, for men. The Uba Cup, as we're seeing here, is for the women. And these are your 16 countries that have uh, qualified via, via the various continental championships, rankings, and previous performances. In Group A, Japan lead the proceedings after thrashing Germany with a clean sweep and not dropping a single game. Indonesia are second after beating France by the same scoreline, though they did drop three games along the way. So it's Asia at the top, Europe at the bottom in that particular group. And we will be here paying attention to court one. And Japan will take on France now in just a few minutes' time in Group A of the Uber Cup. We then move to the Thomas Cup in Group D here on Court 1 at 2 o'clock. Japan also will be here. They'll be up against England. And then it is China versus Chinese Taipei at 7 p.m. local time. As is uh, normally the case, the teams tend to have a little huddle beforehand just to get them all psyched up. Uh, it's uh, often a quite a source of entertainment. Uh, for us watching inside here and they've had a bit of fun with it the French uh, buoyant despite uh, chastening defeat against a weakened Indonesia side who have not brought their toughest team so Japan versus France here today this is your order of play uh, we'll start with the world number one Akane Yamaguchi and that is a massive task for Leonis Ue in the First doubles, uh, Yuki Fukushima Leonis and Sayaka Kenota will take on Vimala Eriao and uh, Margo Lambert. We'll move into the second single. Sayaka Takahashi is up against Yael Oyo. And then into the doubles, uh, Mayu Matsumoto and Misaki Matsutomo up against Flavie Valet and Emily Vercelo. And finally, Rico Gunji takes on Emily Droin. So all five matches have to be played, as you've seen earlier in the table. Points and games will come into it, perhaps, as tie breakers, if required. So that first match here on court one to get us underway between Japan and France. Akane Yamaguchi takes on Leonie Sue. Well, Japan have got a superb record in the Uber Cup. They have been here now a record 26 times, along with Indonesia. Leonie Sue and Akane Yamaguchi, first time they are meeting. France have been here just twice before in 2018 and 2020. And they've both times been eliminated at the group stages. But what about this player? Akane Yamaguchi. She is the world number one. What a player. And Leonie Sue has really got her work cut out for her. Yamaguchi is the reigning world champion. Has won the Uber Cup as well in 2018, right here in Bangkok. So that's a wonderful omen for her at the Impact Arena. She's also the reigning. Asian Games champion. Just 156 centimeters tall, but she is a giant in the world of badminton. And the current world number one, as I mentioned, from Fukui, Japan, just 24 years of age. Also a former Asian champion in 2019, former Asian team champion, and a former Asian mixed team champion. Well, she defeated Yvonne Lee in 36 minutes. I have to say, she won 21-17, 21-19. Oh, oh, oh. 
And that scoreline is a fair reflection of the game. She did struggle uh, at the start. In fact, in that first game, she only took the lead at 17-16. She was behind Yvonne Lee for the bulk of that match. She really took a long, long time to get going. Leonie Sui is uh, 21 years of age, 167 centimeters tall from saint marie in uh, France, 55th in the world. Her best is 53rd. For France, she has won a bronze medal in the Women's Team Championships. She beat Aisha Sativa Fatetani, one of the three French players to have taken a game off their Indonesian opponents. Well, that will give us some confidence. France haven't managed to do too much of that in the past with Indonesia. With France, she's also won the silver with the last year in the mixed team championships in Europe. Komarula Lalia is the uh, Indonesian umpire. Shailas Kulkani, the service judge. Youth Olympic silver medalist uh, is Uwe. She'll need all of that sort of experience to draw upon here. Hasn't won the BWF World Tour yet. She has won the, the International Challenge Series level, the Lithuanian International, in 2019. You contrast that with Akane Yamaguchi, who has won Ladies nine tour titles, World Tour titles. Right, Most recently, France the All England Open just a few weeks ago. Leonis and on my left, Japan, represented by Akane Yamaguchi. Japan to serve, love all, play. Yamaguchi to serve. Let's see if she gets a better start today. Well, it's Dennis Uwe who gets one, the first point. Love. We saw Yvonne Lee cause all sorts of problems, but they, Yvonne Lee's a much higher ranked player than Uwe. Drop, isn't it? Right start here for Wick. And we're seeing early shades of what we saw in the last match that Yamaguchi played. Well, the best way to get a point is to aim it at the player. No one's going to necessarily one, say that openly, two. but it is the hardest one to get away if you're receiving a shot right at you. That's better from Yamaguchi. not taken now these are the kind of errors that we Seven saw over. from Yamaguchi Three, in that first game against two. Yvonne Lee and she's well known for not really making those sort of mistakes Very diligent runs swiftly capable of picking up difficult shots that others are typically unable to save but also known for a lack of errors and uh, yeah already lifted with them this is been the case Two. against Yvonne Lee as well. It's a 
good winner there from Wick. And she's now got a three-point lead, which is invaluable, two. really. You want to build up as big a cushion as you can against a player like Akane Yamaguchi. Wonderfully, and Yamaguchi, that's better. Sets over three, five. You can argue that she doesn't really have to get out of first gear. But it is slightly uncharacteristic at the moment. Uh, she's playing. Weed is little uh, whittled down, and that's what I was referring to, the Four, fact that you have to five. build as big a cushion as you can against someone like Yamaguchi. Oh. Left that one again, and it is all square now. Shot. Oh, and she couldn't take the winner there. Trying to get to the net quickly to Six, get the shuttle above five. the tape. We'll get a better view of it here, perhaps. Just hit it a little lower down the racket than she would have wanted. That's a delightful shot, isn't it, from Yamaguchi, who Seven, is five. now in the lead. So, an improvement in that sense. Then she played against Yvonne Lee when she took the lead only late on in the first game. That is a good winner. Jump smash into the corner. Now beginning to assert Five. herself. Okay. After a little bit of a slow start, she's now starting to show what she can do, Yamaguchi. Beginning to struggle to get some of these shots here, Wick. And against Yamaguchi, you don't want to give her too many points as a lead. But it's now built up to five. Ten, five. And it's in danger of running away from Wick. So, after a pretty slow start by her standards, though in keeping with what she's done so far, the Yuba Cup, Akane Yamaguchi suddenly powers ahead. And is now 11-5 up. So will she continue in the same vein here? Yakane Yamaguchi. That's not a great serve, is it? Service Some over. Of her six, standing. 11. Mm 
Debbie Silver, 12, 6. When you get those sort of opportunities, you need to put them away. Benson likes a Yamaguchi. Playing some really good shots Fifteen. now, isn't she, Yamaguchi? And she surged to a nine point lead. Four very quick points post interval. It was a decent shot, wasn't it? From away, but she didn't take advantage after that in the follow up. Now littering her game. 17. Uwe, and she's in real trouble here. Oh. Yeah, they were shots. 18. Oh, double quick time. Yamaguchi yeah, about to wrap up this game unless something quite dramatic happens. Not even that many winners at the Nine moment from uh, Yamaguchi. Six. Plenty of unforced errors. There you go, that's a bit more of a winner. 20. As if on cue. Game, point six. Uh, game points already, 14 of them. A whopping lead that she's got. And that is game. far, far better now from Akane Yamaguchi. First she game, wraps up the first game in just 10 21, minutes, six. beating Leonie Sue 21-6 in the opening game. And she's ended it really, really well compared to how she started. Remember, Leonis had the lead at one point. She was 5-2 up. And then it all went quite wrong for her. Là, en plus, la tactique, c'est d'aller un peu sur son côté plus droit son tour, enfin, vraiment recentrer sur ce côté-là. OK Et là, tu vas pouvoir l'emmener dans les rallyes, mais enfin, essayer de les finir à fond, tous les rallyes, même si elle est bien tous. Missed that one. one Uwe. Love. Just wonder if it's the lights or the some kind of drift, but she completely missed it. Yeah. That 
is in. That's good play. Two, love. It's difficult, isn't it, for Wei? She's really got to pick herself up after quite a demoralizing first game. Remember, as I mentioned, she was 5-2 up at one point. A procession of points post interval. Three, one. I don't think she got a single point after the interval. It was just all Yamaguchi. It's not two, too bad because four. there's only two points in it. The early stages are okay. It's later on that Uwe's just got to try and keep in touch with her opponent. Oh. And to her credit, she's only one behind at the moment. Three. So it was the unforced errors that was, in the end, who is undoing. Seven over, five, three. Doesn't look particularly happy at the moment. Seven over. And it's interesting four, as well when you look five. at the. Uh, the lineups of the teams. Five on. Yamaguchi is the top ranked Japanese player here. And when you look at the French side, their top that top ranked player is Shu Shufui. She's not involved today. And uh, well, that could be a sort of tactic to try and keep her fresh for the Germany match because that will be the big one to France and Germany to not finish last, you'd think, in this group. You'd have to say that probably Indonesia now favoured to go through. They're in action right now against Germany in the court right next to us. But uh, here, Yamaguchi, only two in front. It's a bit better from Uwe. But it was around this point that uh, Yamaguchi just accelerated in the first game. And uh, she'll be keeping that in mind, Uwe. This is similar to what happened in the previous game. Winner after winner. Ten, also followed by five. unforced error after unforced error.
That's out. And another good first half of a game. Yamaguchi now 11 5 up. Six point lead, similar to what she had in the previous game. Problems mounting again for Uwe. When it's not the winners from Yamaguchi, it's a way not playing the right kind of shots, making errors. And right now, that is compounding her problems. Look at that, it was a no-look shot almost from Yamaguchi. Very nonchalant from her, that one. That's one of the longest rallies we've had, and it's a point yes. for Uwe. She just looked Six, up to the 12. skies there, didn't she, uh, Yamaguchi? She was sure that was going to go out. Just having a look at the drift, perhaps. That lift did work in the end. <laughs> yeah, she can't quite believe it. the zone that one easy to put away yeah, for over. Yamaguchi 13, six. that might have gone out Yamaguchi shot Just dispatched by Yamaguchi. 15, six. Effortless from her. And again, we are entering that territory now 16, where who is looking a little forlorn. And Yamaguchi's right in that zone, isn't she? She's right on top of her game here. Finding all the right spots 17, at the moment. Six. Swatted again. And it's 18, now three away six. from wrapping up this match. Going to change a racket. Will it be a change of fortune for Uwe? Well, it would have to be something quite special from here.
that's better. And what she's done at least is to Seven improve over. on the score from the previous game. Seven, well, that's of some comfort, you'd think, for Uwe. But now, Yamaguchi is closing seven. in yes, on that match point. That's it. That's good work. We should be pleased with that. Eight, Some consolation points, though, perhaps. She is the number two in the French team, Uwe. on the break here of an opening win for Japan. Game. And that's it. Yamaguchi wins this very, very comfortably indeed. And after a little bit of a match slowish start, similar to Japan. what she had in the previous match, she then powered through and eight. never looked back. Albeit against an opponent who's not ranked as high as a previous opponent, but still should be far happier with the performance today. She was really finding the, her marks and playing some great shots. The way it didn't help herself with uh, a number of unforced errors, particularly after the interval of the first game. And he was always, she was always going to be up against it. But Akane Yamaguchi, the world number one, defeats Francis Leonis Sue. 21-6, 21-8 in 35 minutes. Next up, it's the women's doubles in this uh, Uber Cup match between France and Japan. back uh, to the Impact Arena. It is uh, morning here at uh, this premier venue, the Tatal Energies BWF Thomas Nuba Cup Finals. 
Japan taking on France here in the Uber Cup. And uh, we just had a very good win for Akane Yamaguchi against Lionel Sue in the first singles match. Now it's a first doubles match here on court one. All five matches will have to be played, remember. Yuki Fukushima and Sayaka Hiroto from Japan take on Francis Vimla Erio and Margot Lambert. So the players uh, making their way onto the court. We have, again, two very good players now making their way here. Sayaka Hirota and her partner, Yuki Fukushima. In case things weren't going to get even more difficult. They are previous Uber Cup winners as well. They were part of the team that won it in 2018, right here in Bangkok. Hirota and Fukushima. So they know what it's like. They were former runners-up in the World Championships from 2017 to 2019. That just shows you the quality they've got. Runners-up in the Sudirman Cup in 2019 as well. They finished second in the Uber Cup last year in Aarhus in Denmark. First meeting between these pairs. Good luck, ladies. And Japan, they are the reigning Red Asian Games champions. Black. You will have heard, of course, black. recently that the Asian Games have been postponed, so they'll continue to be Asian Games champions for a little bit Red. longer. This side. Serve, receive. You will serve. Who will receive? One. On the BWF World Tour, they have won Hirota and Fukushima a whopping 11 titles, including the All England Open. That was in 2020. Last year, they were runners-up in the All England Open, losing to their great uh, rivals, Mayu Matsumoto and Wakana Nagahara. They play each other a fair bit, it must be said. So they are an imposing pair for this French couple here. Vimala Erio has uh, won the European Women's Team Championships bronze medal in 2020, mixed team championships in 2021. Uh, the not won a title on the BWF World Tour. We'll talk about that in a while, but here's Sayaka Herota. Who's 27 years of age from Kumamoto, 170 centimeters tall, and is currently the world number three. But she and uh, Fukushima, the former world number ones, about four years ago. Fukushima from Kumamoto as well, 29 years of age, 164 centimeters tall. And just superb players. They won the 2017 Most Improved Player of the Year award and never really looked back. Didn't play in the last match. Didn't have to. Fukushima and Hirota. That's just the strength of this side. They are the number one pairing in terms of doubles at the moment within the Japanese setup. They're just rotating Ready a lot, Japan. Smart decision. Mago Lambert is 23, 163 centimeters tall, 68th in the world. And uh, her highest ranking is 47 with uh, her current partner. And uh, that was achieved just over a year ago. There is uh, Ario, who is 23, 168 centimeters tall. 
And uh, like her partner, has won the European Women's Team Championships in 2020 and the Mixed Team Championships in 2021, the silver medal. Only one win on the International Challenge Series. That was uh, the 2019 Hellas Open. Cody Leach is the umpire from the United Ladies States. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, France. Represented by Margot Lambert. from New Zealand, the service Dibala judge. Hario. And on my left, Japan. Represented by Sayaka Hirota and Yuki Fukushima. So they have their work really cut out for them. Japan to serve. The Yuki French Fukushima pair here. To Margot Lambert. Love all. Play. Well, actually, a pretty Low. long rally to start things off. 44 shots, as you can see. That's uh, fairly lengthy. For a first point. Lambert could have finished that off a little bit earlier in the rally. Opted to drop rather than uh, kill it with a smash. One. Oh. Delicately done. Two, one. From Hirota. chances they can presented to them Mario and Lambert as we said with Uwe in the previous match That's a miss hit from Lambert. I think she'll be disappointed. Four, These are the things that they one. need to just cut out of their game, the French. It's tough enough as it is playing such formidable opposition. You can't always control what they you can't control what they do, of course, but you have to be able to try and control what you can do, and that is to limit or mitigate those errors. That was very good work. Started France with the challenges called in. Well, there's a challenge there. 
That looked uh, clearly into me. But uh, very good work between Fukushima and Hirota there. They combined well. Hirota feigning a kill shot, dropping it, and then her partner finishing it off. Awaiting the decision here on the official review. Oh, ho, ho. what Correction. a call that is. Out. How tight is that? That's one of the tighter calls I've certainly seen so far in these Thompson New Cup finals. Service over. And that's well done by the four. French pair. Play. this time. Service over. So far, Three, not too bad here for five. the French pet. Staying in contention at the moment. That's in. That's a good play from Ario. Service over. Four, six. And they'll take some encouragement from this. <laughs> Service over. Seven. And what four. they're struggling to do is put on a run of points at the moment. That's what they dearly like to be able to do. the Japanese as well today at the moment is to build seven. up a run of points of themselves. So that's at least something. Their best run is three points so far on the trot, the Japanese, but Service the French over. aren't able to, to take Five. more than a point at a time. Easy finish there for Hirota. Ten. It's a couple five. in a row, and they are now five in front. This is now starting to perhaps look dangerous for the French pair, Erio and Lambert. Good way of doing it, which is to play it right at the player. 
Very little chance to either get out of the way or find the space to play the shot. As a pair, Fukushima and Hirota have played uh, 304 matches together coming into this tournament. 231 wins and just 73 defeats. They've won three times as many matches, more than three times as many matches as they've lost. This year, though, not such a great start coming into this tournament. Three wins out of five. Out. Service not over. 11-6 interval. And going into the interval. It's 11-6 to Fukushima and Hirota. It's a good start from them. ですが、まだチャンスなくなる。勝つな攻撃してたら、ショートだったらもう結構風が来るから、もう行けるから。前入れ作ってて気なくなる。これ頭の中に入れるように。あと、階級が特にラウンドから、特に大クロス、結構強
And uh, Margot Lambert also played seven. last year. She was uh, partnered with Anne Tran for that one. They lost to Mayu Matsumoto and Nami Matsuyama in straight games as well. Japan winning 5-0, not losing a single game. better from them. Change. Rio and Lambert. We saw them put up a very good fight in the uh, singles in the first match against Indonesia. They played uh, Fabriana Dwipuji, Kusuma and Amana Jahaya Pratiwi, who were uh, actually lower ranked than them by quite some distance. They ended up losing that, but the second game finished 27-25 in favour of the Indonesians, so they really pushed them at the end. I think they'll be chastened by that defeat because Indonesia were not playing anywhere near their full strength. A lot of inexperience, very, very young side, and they impressed greatly. in favor of the Japanese. Yeah, I think uh, France would have been disappointed they didn't get at least some points on that. They would have expected being actually probably favorite to win it, given the experience they had and the advantage in rankings at least. Not many have given Indonesia a chance here at the Yuba Cup. From Mario. Line judge, signal. 18, 8. Yeah, really, really. I think she sliced across it, didn't she? And now the gap is 10. Lambert shaking the head. I don't understand why. Eight. That's definitely the longest rally now. But should be disappointed at how it ended, Lambert. Into the net. There was really no threat at all. As those rallies go, we will then start to favor the Japanese pair. And they're now two away from wrapping this first game up. They've now got 20, uh, 12 game, game point points. Eight. Yeah. 
Service over. Just trying to get a quick Nine. winner there, Fukushima. 20. Now 11 game points to save if they can. Big, big ask. And they've wrapped it up, the Japanese, in the first game. By Japan, Good performance nine. from them. Some moments for the French pair, but... Yeah, they didn't help themselves again, just like in the first match with uh, the number of unforced errors. It took a surprisingly long time to get through what was essentially a one-sided game, but... Hiroto and Fukushima taking that first game against uh, Lambert and Perio. 21-9, 20 minutes. Court one, 20 seconds. Court one, 20 seconds. So into game two now we go with the second game Japanese pair looking all play. pretty good at the moment, aren't they? And you feel there's more to come from them. One love. Well, we did say that they need to cut out these sort of mistakes. French pair, minimize those sort of things. There is a school of thought, of course, that one. if you're already oh. the minnow in this one, the underdog, you might as well go out all guns blazing and try and take the game to the opposition. Another school of thought is, well, you play it safe and see if you can draw mistakes out of your opponent, your more formidable opponent. Service over, two, one. Good reactions there. Good defending from the two. French and oh. Fukushima couldn't finish off, just rushed into that.
Three, Another very long rally. Two. And this time, Rio and Lambert will be pleased that they've uh, won this one because they tend to not win the long rallies. The experience of Fukushima and Hirota normally shows through, but they've also got the lead here. 61 shots. There you go. It is the longest rally now. Had some long rallies, and that's why this has taken some time so far, this match. Time to creep in for the Japanese pair. Service over. Three, four. Looking at how the tournaments that uh, Ario and Lambert have played this year. They were the Orleans Masters. Got to the semi-finals. That was uh, Ario and Fabien Del Rue in the mixed doubles. Things up. They haven't played together this year, Erio and Lambert. We've uh, had different partners, and uh, perhaps that is not necessarily working in their favour. Erio has had a pretty good time this year, mainly playing mixed doubles, but also when she was with Sharon Bauer, they got to the finals of the Portugal International that was in March. Service over. Five, four. That's for Lambert. It's into the net, though. Six. From Fukushima, and they're doing well here, the French pair. We saw a slight improvement for Uwe in the second game. We're seeing that here now from Lambert and Ario. Yeah, Margot Lambert was involved in the European Championships. She played with Anne Tran. Got to the quarterfinals. Service over. Lost in the first round Five. of the Orleans Six. Masters. Round of 16 in the Swiss Open. And in the All England, lost in the first round, as well as German Open. That was with Anne Tran, though. Service over, seven, five. Out. Service That's over. short. Six, seven. Well, this is good stuff at the moment from Erio and Lambert. Can they keep this going? They have that slender lead at the moment. Seven. Oh. 
And now they've drawn level. Will the Japanese try to surge ahead here? Eight, seven, change. Well, what they've been able to do here, the French pair, not, they've kept them contained, not allowed the Japanese to impose themselves like they did in the first game. Not able to put on a run of points. Bigger leaders they've had so far in this second game. Two points. Snatching at that one, Lembert. Ten, and seven. the lead is now three. Slowly starting to edge away now, Fukushima and Hirota. the interval, looking far better now. And in a more comfortable position, Hirota and Fukushima are leading 11-7 in game two, having already taken the first game. Now we're seeing that dominance slowly seeping through. The lead is five, and Lambert and Ariot need to try and put a stop to this before it really runs away from them. This is now starting to look very, very difficult. Snatching at that one, Fukushima. She was in a good position and odds on to make that shot. <laughs> She's a little bit annoyed with herself for not making it. Too easy for Hirota.
A leader six. Still Service hanging over. in there. The number nine. And there you are. Fourteen. Good power from Fukushima and that can only do so much. Nine. Yeah, just seemed a bit unsure of where nine. that might land, Lambert. She was in two minds uh, playing on that backhand. Seven points now. This is the biggest lead they've had in this second game in the Japanese pair. And they are now five away from wrapping this match up. Too much power from Fukushima. Atario. Nine. Nicely done. Just wrong footing her opponents. Service over. Well, one positive is Ten. that they have 18. now surpassed their points total from the previous game, the French duo. points on the trot 11, will be of uh, some joy to them and they need a lot more than that if they want to stay in this Margot Lambert great story she started playing badminton in Tahiti in 2007 because her parents friends were playing and told her to come and join in not a bad place to start your badminton career 2008, she started competing. She says the toughest opponents that she's faced, the Stoeva sisters of Bulgaria, formidable opponents as well. And their ambition, her ambition is to play in the 2024 Olympics, and that would be special because, of course, 11, Paris, 18. France will be the venue city, the host city. That will be massive for both of these players. And of course, everyone in the French team will be hoping to play a part. This time, it seems to be a straightforward return. 11. Another very, very long rally. We've had a number of these in this match. She'll be disappointed. 65 shots. It is indeed now the longest rally of this match. And those are the sort of unforced errors that have littered that match today. 
from the French pair. Service over, 12-19. So still seven points in it. Big discussion as to probably what to do next. Service over, 20, match point. Well, and now the match points. Eight of them for Fukushima and Hirota. Hey. And a pretty easy way to finish things off. Japan challenges. Well, they are challenging the, the French pair. I mean, might as well. I thought it was in, and I think they're having a bit of a, a laugh there. I think they know that is probably in. We'll just get confirmation of that. And that is most certainly in. Correction in. Game. And that is uh, another pretty straightforward win for Japan. Match one by Japan. I think got to give credit though to Lambert and Ariel. Well. Whilst that first game score looks very lopsided and a bit less so with the second, they worked their opponents. There were some long, long rallies. Japanese also do tend to play that kind of way, rather defensive at times, but. Yuki Fukushima and Sayaka Hirota beat Vimala Herio and Mago Lembert. 21-9, 21-12 in 42 minutes. And Japan are now two up in the tie. We move to the second women's single, Sayaka Takahashi versus Yael Oyo. Lovely aerial shots here of uh, where we are located, the Impact Arena in the north of Bangkok. In the Uber Cup, round two of the group stages, Japan are leading here against France. 
having won the first singles and first doubles. So now we move to the second singles as Sayaka Takahashi takes on Yael Hoyo. And uh, we still have two more matches after that, so we're almost halfway through. And to reiterate, Yael Hoyo is up against Sayaka Takahashi. Represented by Yael Oyu. Umpire Shailesh Kukani from India. So, with so here is uh, Sayaka Takahashi. And her opponent, Yael Oyu. Takahashi was part of the Uber Cup team in 2018 here in Bangkok that won gold. She's also had a silver in the Sudirman Cup last year. Actually, Takahashi's also had a silver in the Uber Cup in 2014 and a silver in Aarhus last year. Asian Games bronze medalist in 2014. And bronzes in the Asian Championships as well in 2013 and 14. There's a gold in the Asian Team Championships as well from 2020. And a silver in the Mixed Team Championships in Black. 2019. Three. That's the first meeting Three. between these players. So she's uh, won a fair bit okay. in the time. Four titles in the BWF World Black. Tour. Same. None since 2018 okay. though. I mean, that was in the Akita Masters, the Super 100. She has won the Singapore Open in that same year at the Super 500 and the Canada Open. She was runners up. Uh, the New Zealand Open, the Super 300, the Swiss Open as well. All in 2018, she was winner. Yeah, it was a good period for her. French Open last year, she was runner up to her compatriot and someone we saw earlier, Akane Yamaguchi. Yael Oyo has got her work cut out. We, how, much, uh, how many times have we said that already, have we, haven't we? She hasn't really won anything at senior level. Her last title was the Yonex Italian Junior in 2015. Now, Takahashi, 29 years of age, 168 centimeters tall, currently 13th in the world from Nara. And uh, she has been as high as 10th. That was uh, about just over three years ago. Next <laughs> titles at the International Challenge Series level between 2012 and 2017, nine of those. Didn't play in the first round of matches against uh, Germany. Yael Oyo is 24, 166 centimetres tall from La Tranche. And is uh, currently 69th in the world rankings. That's been at a high of 64th. French national champion in 2021. She gave a good match against Vilkas Prasista. Losing in three. Won the first game, 21-17. Put her under pressure in the third, but not quite enough. That was in the final match of the tie against Indonesia. Again, playing Shailesh Kulkarni, the Indian umpire. The service judge is Komodo Lailia of Indonesia. Yeah, yeah, Loyo started playing in 2006. She was uh, seven, eight years old. City where her parents lived because her father played and she wanted to try the sport. A year later, she was competing. The most memorable sporting achievement, two national junior titles. 
and uh, most memorable match, the first round of the European Championships 2016 in France. She says her toughest opponent she's ever faced is Akane Yamaguchi. So she'll be glad she hasn't had her today. And she'll be hoping, of course, to make that Olympic squad in 2024. Her idols, Li Chong Wei, Malaysian legend, and someone else is here, Carolina Marin from Spain. Well, she'll be trying to invoke Marin today against uh, an impressive Takahashi. Another tough match on paper. Takahashi, who has got a good record overall. 252 wins, 116 losses, and 368 matches. Six wins this year out of nine. Compare that with Oyo, who has played 245 matches overall, 131 wins, 114 losses, and just three wins out of Ladies eight and this year. On my right, France, represented by Yale Hoyo. And on my left, Japan, represented by Sayaka Takahashi. France to serve. Love all. Play. Oyo gets us going. That's a quick winner. Takahashi. Service over. One lap. Well, such is the strength Two. of this Japanese side. Who Love. actually quite fancy their chances here at this tournament. She's the third ranked singles player after Nozomi Okuhara. Oh, beautifully placed. No way that Oyo was going to get to that. That's a really good start here for Takahashi. Oyo is in real danger of having this run away from her. That's better. More aggressive. Service over. One, five. Oyo is the third ranked singles player at the moment in the French squad. That's out. Well, this is better Three, from Oyo five. now. She's closed a gap to just two after a very good start from Takahashi. can do in the last match, last high, Yamaguchi and then Okuhara played. 
And then Sat Kawakami. This time it's Yamaguchi again. Interesting that she's played two in a row. And then Takahashi and uh, Gunji, who's a fourth ranked singles player. Restored that five point lead very quickly, Takahashi. She's had six points. That's in. Service over. That's just a really Four, good spot that Oyo has picked. Just about keeping in touch with her opponent. Lovely slice there, cross court from Takahashi. Great start here for Takahashi. Race to a five point lead. A little bit of a fight back from uh, Oyo. And then Takahashi surge ahead. A seven point lead here at the interval of game one. very quickly to kill the rally off. Not enough on that clear. So easy for Takahashi. The net. Not much uh, Takashi could do. She will take 12. that. Oyo. Service over. That's the problem. She cannot 13, sustain five. more than a point at a time at the moment. A little bit difficult. Fourteen, 
to play it into that very nice area. Beautiful from Takahashi. 16 5. Some exquisite shots in this match. As winners. Playing comfortably and freely at the moment. Cross court again. She's playing Service so well here, Takahashi. 18, Pushing Oyo all over the court. As at the top of a game, Takahashi, 19, and oh yeah, just has no response. It's been a real sequence of points here since the interval. Service over. Seven nineteen. Couldn't get to 13 game points game here. Point seven. That is in. Game. Not going to challenge that. Game, and a very, very Japan. good first game from Sayaka Takahashi. Seven. Ominous, really, for game two. She wins it 21 7.
toi sur ton match. Mais là, je ne sais pas, je faisais que des terriers par de feu dans ta raquette. Après, c'était facile, je n'avais pas à repasser au fond avec la bonne vitesse. Regarde les trajectoires par tendu, tu vas sur le droit. Ouais. Sur le droit, oui. Tu vas sur le croisé, là, tu vas pouvoir mettre la hauteur, tu vas pouvoir envoyer, ça va pas sortir. Ça va être un peu plus facile. Court one, 20 seconds. Court one, 20 seconds. Second game, low all, play. We're going to the second oh. game. Yael York knows that she really has to do something quite special here to stay in this match. This Takahashi is right on top of her game at the moment. Something we've said about the French players so far. Takahashi this year Four, has won one. six, lost three. She got to the quarterfinals of the Asia Championships recently, losing to Anse Young in the quarterfinals. Straight games. At the All England, also got to the quarterfinals, losing to compatriot Akane Yamaguchi. And at the German Open, losing the quarterfinals to Tong Yi Man. Service over, two, four. For Oyo, at the Korea Masters. Lost to another Japanese player and Saina Kawakami in the first round. And the Korea Open also losing to the same opponent in the round of 16. Service over. The Swiss Open losing to, Five, losing to Saina Newal in the round of 32. And in the side, Modi International. She lost to Evgenia Kosetsky in the round of 16. That's in, but it's going to be challenged France by Oyo. It was called in. It's a tight one. I think it was the right call there by the officials. And it's very much in. One challenge remaining. Tournament uh, India Open for you. She lost to India's Ashmita Chaliha, who's also here at the Uber Cup in the round of 16. So, uh, mixed bag for us so far this year. Service over. Three wins out of nine. Three, six. In 2022. She 
Alex quite Three. bemused at that one. Oyo. Oyo. Oh, she's uh, a little bit annoyed right. with herself. The way she returned the shuttle, and the umpire just had a quick word with her. That is just out. a little bit too much to do. Similar sort of situation to game one. Five points, the difference. Oh, dear. Well, you're already playing a top, top player, and the last thing you need is to serve like that. That will be immensely frustrating to all your... And it's a very good... Start again for Takahashi. Problems here for Oyo. Eleven four. It is at the interval of game two with Takahashi leading from the first game. Team singing Thank you. Uh, a line from Buffalo Soldier, Bob Marley song, because uh, it sounds like the IL's surname. Or your good fun, despite uh, the situation in front of them. Japan, it looks like going to take a 3-0 lead and win this tie. Three quick points uh, right after the interval Five, for Takahashi. And uh, well, he's managed to pull one back. Wait, wait. Play. It's in. It's a wry smile as well from Takahashi. Six.
Well, just uh, gathering a few points. Service over, 7-15. So far, it's 4-3 in Takahashi's favor since the interval. So that's good work from Oyo. Is superb from Takashi. Just makes it look so easy, doesn't she? 16, 7. Well, let's batter that back at her opponent, Takashi. And is now 17, 10 points ahead seven. of her opponent. Yeah. Well, you'd still say that well, you have a chance here of at least going past her total from the last game. in and she has indeed gone one better than her previous total she'll be happy about that clearly in that one that will certainly be out and two away from wrapping this up now Sayaka Takahashi Played that late. Oh, yo, and then that got her into all sorts of trouble. 20 and there are 13 or 12 match points now here for Takahashi. Nicely done by Takashi, a ruthless clinical performance from her. Match one by Japan. And she's been excellent today. And really gave Oyo no chance. Eight. It was probably on the cards anyway, given how good she's been. The difference in rankings. An excellent performance from Sayaka Takahashi all the way. Never had any issues. And Japan have now won this tie officially with three straight wins. Big smile from her, why not? Sayaka Takahashi defeats Yael Oyo 21-7, 21-8 in 26 minutes. Next up, it's women's doubles here in the Uber Cup, Japan versus France.
Here we are then at the Impact Arena, and uh, Japan are up against France in the Uber Cup, the second match for each side. And uh, Japan have now officially won this matchup with Sayata, Sayaka Takahashi defeating Yaloyo just now in 26 minutes, a very easy win for her. We now move to the second women's doubles match in this tie. To just put a flourish in it, the Japanese will be going into it again as the overwhelming favorites. Because uh, we have Mayu Matsumoto and Misaki Matsutomo playing Flavi Valle and Emily Vercello. Amahar, Ivo Kosu from Switzerland. Sylvester, Harry Samugabi from Uganda. So you just see the on court one, Uber Cup players group waiting to just uh, come on. I can tell you a bit Japan, more about Mayu Matsumoto and Mayu Misaki Matsutomo. Matsumoto is a former world champion in women's doubles. 2018 and 2019, she got uh, gold. Represented by Flavi Wale and Emily Vesero. And uh, last year had a bronze. Sudirman so Cup, she's had a couple of silvers, 2019 and 2021. Has been in the Uber Cup before last year in Aarhus, she got a silver. A silver also in the Asian Championships in 2019, and a gold in the Asian Team Championships in 2020. She used to play with uh, Wakana, well, she plays with Wakana Nagahara, I should say. That's where she achieved all those accolades. And they have, on the World Tour, won four titles. Most recently, the All England Open last year. Massive title, that one, isn't it? One of the most prestigious in world badminton. We've had uh, more runner-ups than titles, seven runner-up positions. Misaki Matsutomo. She normally plays with uh, Ayaka Takahashi. She is a gold medal winner in the Olympic Games. 2016 Rio Olympics. First meeting between these two pairs. World the Championships, though, she has Red, not yet won. Choose? She's finished Red. third in 2017. She was part of the Uber Cup team that won gold here Serve, in 2018. Receive. receive who's receiving. Who's serving. Emily serving. Has had two silvers in the Uber Cup in 2014 and last year, 2020 and a couple of bronzes as well, 2012 and 2016. So Uber Cup, good record for Misaki Matsutomo, reigning Asian Games champion in the women's team event. And multiple medals in Asian championships and mixed team championships, including gold in 2016 and 2017. In terms of the World Tour, six titles, seven runners up. More than that in just a while. Mayu Matsumoto is uh, 26 from the north of Japan in Hokkaido, 177 centimeters tall. Uh, don't pay too much attention to that ranking. It's 1,318 because this is not a normal pairing. And uh, highest rank is number one in the world for Mayu. That was in April of 2019. Saki Matsutomo is from Tokushima. She's 30 years of age, 159 centimeters tall. She too is a former world number one. That's with Ayaka Takahashi. And that was in uh, October 2014, so quite some time ago now. And they won't be too bothered about the fact that they're 1,315. They were not uh, played together in the last match against Germany. They've only played three matches ever together. One, two, lost one. Emily Vassalo is 20 from Epinal in France. 170 centimeters tall, and she's currently playing at her best ranking with her current partner, Flavie Vallée.
Flavie Vallet, 19 years of age, 168 centimeters tall from Nogion Sonen. They have played 68 matches together, won 39, lost 29. This year alone, they've played 12 and have halved those matches. Six wins, six losses. They played against Marwan Marisari in the doubles and uh, lost that fairly convincingly. 14-21, 11-21. So in the last uh, match, when Japan played Germany, uh, Mayu Matsumoto was playing with Wakana Nagahara, that's her usual partner. Sydney Gullos is the New Zealand umpire for us. And the American Cody Leach is the service judge. So they're just mixing things around a little bit here. In Japan, why not? So in theory, the French pair, much higher ranked. I'm not sure if they and will feel that gives them any on sort of right, advantage. Japan, represented by Mayu Matsumoto and Misaki Matsutomo. And on my left, France, represented by Flavé Ballet and Emily Versilo. France to serve Emily Versilo to Mayu Matsumoto. Lavo. Here in about 1,200 places or higher ranked, the French pair. Let's see how they get on. Well, she completely missed that. Service over. One love. Tomo, that's something you would not expect. Oh, it actually didn't make it across. Excuse me. Difficult from the angle I'm in. And that is that one's in for sure. Two love. So all that space and exploited it. Very good start from the two Matsus, Moto and Tomo. Well, they're going to challenge that, and they looked out. Japan challenges. Gold in. Good call. Very good call. Correction out. Five love play. <laughs> Service over. One five. at the moment. Service over. Six, one. Oh! 
service over. Two, six. Good four point lead, and they've started well, the Japanese. Service over. 7-2. Remember what we keep saying is that the French players have to keep themselves in the reckoning. Anything beyond five is going to be very difficult, really. And that's important points for them. Service over. Three, right down the middle. Seven. Now that lead just cut to three. Four, seven. Oh. Moving their opponents on really well. Matsutomo this time. Cleverly doing that. Service over. Eight, four, Flavi. <laughs> yeah, lovely story with uh, Matsutoma and Takahashi, Five, their eight. partner. Playing together for a long, long time, ever since they were schoolmates. And they were the first pair from outside China to win the Olympic doubles title since 1996. Right now, you've got to give a lot of credit to Vexilo. Six, eight. And Valet. Keeping pace with their rivals. It's it's early stages where they're okay, and then all of a sudden the Japanese players just pick it up, pick up the pace, and really surge ahead and accelerate. There's no way of catching up. Seven, eight. Wow, Eight, they have drawn four. level here. Service over. Nine, eight. Ten, eight. So we're talking about this where the Japanese will suddenly get sparked into life. Looking to go into the interval with a slightly bigger lead. Choice of shots Eleven, from Valet eight. and the Interval. Japanese indeed go into the break with the lead. Not as big as they probably would have wanted, but they are in front. 11 8. So Vesselo and Valet have played some good stuff as well along the way. Eight, 
でも構わないですね。当時もちょっと広いですちょっと小さく見えます。やられてたのはほぼないからね。プレゼントみたいな。シンプルで。金はポジションもちょっと回ってますので。Court 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1,
13-15. It's still, this is probably as good as it's got so far. No one in the French team has managed to get to 13 points till now. Margot Lambert and Vimaleri have got to 12. So this is very good from this pairing. Service but over. we know that Change. the two Matsus can accelerate now at the business end of this first game. 16, 13. Work between the players, good work from Matsutomo. 17, 13. And all of a sudden, we talked about this acceleration. And they find themselves five in front here, the Japanese pair. These consecutive points are really 19, doing the damage now. 13. in we had to get that right now because after this they go into match po uh, game point 14, and there'll be little margin for 19. error so it's important to get as many points as they can while the Japanese are still on 19 Doesn't quite make it over the net to the frustration of Axelo. Service over. One game, game point, 14. And now six game points for the Japanese pair. Game. And they wrap up that first game. It's been. A little First tougher game, than some of the others Japan, that we've seen. Matsumoto and Matsutomo came good in the end. That's a good emphatic winner, isn't it, from Matsutomo to take that first game. And they win that 21 14 in 16 minutes. ローブローブでも高いは戻ってくるからもう同じこと思ってこれ押してやらないあと相手の配球スーッと来るからフォードワーク最初入って入ってから球が前に見えるちょっと遅れたらスーッと抜けちゃうからから特に前に。そうそう
Court one, 20 seconds. Court one, 20 seconds. Second game. La ball. Line. So game two here, and the French will have uh, taken some encouragement from that last game. One love. See if they can put the pressure on. Right down the middle between the two players. That's a good shot there. Service over. One, two. Service over. Three, one. They're having some uh, relatively long rallies. That's Four. one of the longer ones we've had. Desolo and Valet will think that might have an opportunity. But it's a good early start here for the Japanese pair. Five, one. Over. Again, Two, it's important that they five. break up that momentum. Service over. Six. So a similar kind of pattern to the first Three, game where Valle and Vesolo were pegging back the Japanese in their advance. out lead us back to four service over seven three eight and three. valet in uh, 2022 played in the recent european championships lost in around the 16th to the still waivers no no shame in that, of course. The waivers are very, very good at the moment, playing well. 
formidable pair in the Dutch international. Service over. They got to the Four, eight. semi-finals. Having come through qualification, the Olio Masters, they lost in the round of 16, Portugal International Championships. They lost the round of 16 as well. Swedish Open also got to the round of 16. And the Estonian Five, International. Eight. Also the round of 16. Isaki. So a fairly okay year thus far. Six wins and six losses Five, in 2022. Eight. And they're still keeping pace here with their more lustrous opponents. Longest rally that one. And the shot played is one that they probably could have avoided. So into the interval, 11, the Japanese five. go. Interval. Eleven five up. This is a decent lead now. French had some good moments in that first half. But they know they've got to work hard now in the second half to stay in this. So 11 5 now. Five. Five. After the interval, there was a bit of a fight back from Valerie Versalo in the last game. 12, this is already starting to run five. away from them. Seven points the gap. Starting to rise here to amount for the French pair. Six. Unlucky. What's the tomo? The idea was uh, a good one. Difficult to execute from that kind of height. 
It was just way too low, wasn't it? That, though, is a very good shot into the far corner. Service over. 14, seven. Fetch right now. They're looking to get a run of points. Not able to at the moment. Good drop there. Beautifully done by Matsutomo. Shaped to do something else and then changed it. And last second, have a look. There you go. Holding the racket up and then quickly Thank you. bringing it down to play the drop. And she knew it was always going to be tough. Valle. 15, 7. Oh, the chance not taken by Matsumoto. In front of the net, she'll be disappointed. She couldn't finish it off. She was favourite to make that shot. Yeah, just stamping her feet in frustration and not being able to do so. Oh, it's another error from her. Two in a row. Nine, fifteen. Nice little 10, 15. period here for the French pair. And that is ended now. So the nice little shot into the net. 16, 10. I tell you that Japan are already through to the quarterfinals, having secured two wins. It's now between them and Indonesia to see who finishes top. Indonesia have also beaten Germany. And like Japan now just going through the rest of the match to see who can accrue the points. Six points to gap. Now, of course, the next mission for Vessel and Valley is at the minimum. I think they'd want to try and overhaul their 14 points that they accrued in the previous game. It over Matsumotomo. Again, a shot where she would be favoured to make it over. Six, 
been a number of times that kind of encapsulates what's happening today in many of the French players, the unforced errors. And now Japanese pair have eight match points. Went for that one, Matsumoto. 13, 20. That's well placed Game. on the backhand. Makes up for it, Matsumoto. And another win for the Koreans. Match Sorry, excuse me. Japan. For the Japanese. 21, 14, 21, Got the Koreans 13. next to us in the court four, but the Matsu's very good here. Had some stiff resistance, and it's been the best performance so far, points wise, by any of the French players. In terms of points accrued, that has been the most the French have done so far. But Mayu Matsumoto and Misaki Matsutomo beat Flavi Valle and Emily Vercelo 21-14, 21-13. They've done it in 34 minutes. We have the final match coming up. Women's singles, Rico Gunji versus Emily Drouin. Cloudy skies, overcast at the arena at the moment, Impact Arena, but it's certainly bright for the land of the rising sun, with Japan 4-0 up against France at the moment, and they are playing their final match, having won the previous four in straight games. A little bit of resistance from Valéa Vercelo, but now, a chance here for Japan to have a clean sweep of things. That final match is a women's singles between Rico Gunji of Japan against Frances Emily Dua. Just uh, Looking at the lineups, the, the squads for these teams. Rico Gunji is the fifth ranked singles player, the lowest ranked singles player that Japan have in this tournament, in this squad. And uh, Emily Droit is the same as well. 
Malu from Indonesia. Both of them can play doubles. And that's the kind of floating position that they have. Remember that the only other time they played in the Uber Cup, Japan managed a clean sweep, and they'll be hoping to repeat that here. There's Rico Gunji. We'll be hoping she puts in a good performance and perhaps gives her management uh, a thing or, th or two to consider, perhaps later on. First meeting between these two players. This side, you serve or receive? Receive. Receive, you serve. Rico Gunji has got a gold medal at the Asian Team Championships for Japan in 2020. Got a bronze this year. As a former World Junior Champion singles player, that was in 2019. So three years ago. Hasn't won yet. Anything on the World Tour, but has won the International Challenge Series, the Belgian International and the Mexican International, 2021 20, and 2022, respectively. She's 160 centimeters tall from Kanagawa. 19 years of age and uh, pretty much at her best ranking. Hundred and. 27 at the moment. Has not played yet in the Uber Cup. This is her debut in the competition. And what about her opponent, Emily Duart? 17 years of age. A couple of youngsters on this side. Selin Hübsch is another one, 175 centimetres tall. Ranking of 283. Highest of 277, she is from the capital Paris. Of course, where they are hosting those Olympics. And she'll be hoping, beyond hope, to force her way into the reckoning. Has not been selected yet in this tournament. So both of these players are making their debut. Ready to play. Unusual to see someone playing with their glasses on. It's not something you normally see. Lalia from Indonesia in charge of this one. And ably supported by Shailesh Kulkani as the service judge. So what we've seen is uh, France showing a willingness to blood some youngsters. Emily Hubsch played in the final match of the Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, singles France against Indonesia. Now giving Emily, Emily Duan a go. Brand. And on my left, Japan, represented by Rico Gunji. Clearly Frank using deserve, these opportunities love all, for the play. future. That's a nice winner to start things off. Um, Gunji, but in terms of rankings, this is probably the closest well, we've seen between opponents thus far. Two left. It's about 160 odd places between them in the rankings, so. 
In fact, she Leonis away and uh, Yamaguchi about 50 odd places between them. Three left. Quick start here for Gunji. And uh, as a youngster, she just can't let it get to her too much, Gunji, to uh, draw her. Thank you. It was always going to be tough. Got to keep positive. Play. There you go. Her first ever Yuba Cup point. Always going to be a special One, moment. Three. Set that up well, didn't she? Moving her opponent around very nicely. Five, one. Rico Gunji. Keep in touch here, doesn't Two, she? Draw up. That's it. So I gambled on that one. Six, Hoping that would go two. out. That made it in. No, it was out. Oh, I think Gerard for a second was Seven, celebrating. Two. She decided not to challenge that one either. Not really going her way at the moment. She's five behind already. Oh, that one is out though. The right. Idea Three, there from uh, Gunji. Overall, in her career, Gunji has played 89 matches, 173, lost 16. It's a very good record. It's nicely done, isn't it? From Drua. Who's just two seven. behind now. Yeah, this year alone, Kunji has played ten and won nine. That's a really good record for her. 90% of her matches won. She. Played in the Mexican International Challenge. Six. Seven. Just a few weeks ago, and won that, beating a compatriot in the final, Natsuki Ndera. Then played in the Slovak Open, got to the semi finals. Most Indian player, Aditi Bat. This is good work from Drua, who's level things here. Ching. No, really, big, big boost for her confidence. Yeah. 
Let's look at her record. She won't have played not much. 98 matches, to be fair. 64 wins, 34 losses. It's pretty good. This year alone, 10 wins out of 14. Also a good record. A lot of those would play in junior tournaments, but she played in the Dutch International. And was out in the uh, round of 32, Seven's having over. done really Eight. well in the qualification. Make it over, and she has the lead here. Nine, For the first time eight. in this match. She got to the semi finals of the Adidas Alps International Under 19 event. Yeah. And now extends a lead by two. This is the best any of the Nine, French players have done eight. at this stage of any game. Great stuff here from Ellie Drouin. Play. Well, it's the first time in any of the matches that a French player or pair has had a lead at an interval. Excellent work from Ellie Drouin. She was trailing for much of that first half but has a three-point lead here 11 8 in game one now can she Keep this momentum going. And Le Drouin has the splits there to get to that shot, but uh, not enough. Seven over, Genji. nine, 11. Certainly not want to be the first Japanese to lose today. And this is a dead rubber. Two good points there for Gunji. An unforced error, Seven wasn't it? Over. From uh, Gunji. 12, She'll be disappointed with that, and it's she's still in front here, Drouin. No one has led Play. at this point in any of the matches thus far. Is there an opportunity here? Seven's over, 12, on. 
Certainly, she is certainly tenacious. She's got that youthful exuberance about her. Dwight. And she's not letting go of the lead yet. Yes, thank you. Player on court. Service over, 13, 12. Very good shot. Took the weight right off it. 14, Two point lead here. 12. Well, well. This is an interesting turn of events. Is this start of something special here for Dwa? Gunji under a little bit of pressure here. Well, that's a great shot cross court. Sort of a driver swatted it back. That is over. Yes, 13, 14. Big height advantage that uh, Dora has over her opponent. player or pair today has hit 15 points. So this is uh, a very good reflection on Dua. Play. That's good work from uh, Gunji. So Gunji has managed to draw level here. Oh. And she goes back into the lead. It's been some time since that's 16. happened for Gunji. The last time was uh, well before the interval. That's a wonderful return on that smash. 15. Took that so well, placed it beautifully. And Gunji has a precious two-point lead here, the business end of this first game. Make that three. Eight, this is where Dua has to keep her cool and not let it get to her. Well, four very, very good points. Nine. Excellent work to get those consecutive points and really relieve the pressure that was on her. It's been a very good run all of a sudden. Where was this earlier? From Rico Gunji. Now taking uh, six in a row. And there's five game points now. Ah! One saved. Service over, 16, 20.
game. So Rico Gunji has won the first game, but not without a terrific scare and a good fight from her opponent, Emily Drouin, who took it to opponent before the interval, had the lead, the first time anyone's done that, and has scored the most points by any French player today. But in the end, a fine run towards the last bit of this first game. Seven points in a row has seen Rico Gunji win it. 21-16 in 16 minutes. Good start. Important here for Gunji if she wants to wrap this up because she knows what Duan can do. And she's annoyed herself for that shot one that she probably felt she probably should have made. She started well here, Rico Gunji, but uh, we know that's what happened in the first game as well. And then Emily Dewar came storming back. Challenge here from Drouin. Challenge. And it's definitely out that one. One challenge remaining. Four love. So a similar sort of start here. She was around 5-1, 5-2 in that sort of region, Rika Gunji. And then Trua pegged her back and then took the lead, stunning lead. Oh. 
Seven silver, two, five. Quick telling. Well, this is when she mounted that fight back throughout. Is it something similar? Okay. On court. Gunju just seemed to take her eye off the shuttle, as it were, for a little while. And Dua was on a roll for a bit. Play. That's a good spot. Seven over six three. Took down the jump smash really well. Stick to the task. Seven over four. Seven. And what she's done is she's managed to just stick One. around, make things difficult for her opponent, not give up. Easily put away there by Gunji. annoying the shot there Ten, into the net six. she'll be a bit frustrated by that one oh that one was easier to put seven, away than miss good and somehow contrived to do that Good work here. She's narrowing the gap. Eight, Draw ten. Seven over. 
11 a interval. So this time Gunji goes into the interval with the lead of three points. But as we've seen from Drua, she's right on her tail. It can still cause problems. causing problems Nine, throughout. 11. She's capable of doing that. And the gap is only one. Ten, 11. She's going for winners at the moment, Gunji. Well to recover, Gunji. Frustration from Trua. You're not seeing that on your screen at the moment, but she was uh, very annoyed with herself for not finishing off that point. I needed more on that clear. Her coach is just trying to calm her down. There you go. That was the reaction. Two quick points there for Gunji just to relieve that pressure that was starting to build. Emily, ready to receive. Yeah, we must remember that she is extremely young. Emily, grew up. Turned 17 uh, in December. Seven over 11, 14. Was shot. Completely misread that. Four point the gap now. That's a good drop. Seven's over. That's not a big 12, yell. 15. You can see there's a lot of energy about her, a lot of, as I mentioned, youthful exuberance, that nervous energy. This is her debut, remember? Same with uh, Gunji. She has represented Japan before in the Asia Team Championships. She is older. That is out. Oh, it's in. Well, it looked like it was out. Gunji. Isn't going to challenge that. 13, 15. I thought that was out, actually. Okay, Emily. <laughs> She's pacing around the court. 
Didn't even know the shuttle was there. Now, two points behind. Yeah, she was just caught out, wasn't she? Stretched on the backhand there, and then Gunji decided to go to the left side of the court. That was the right play, right decision there with Gunji. Right now, while she's 16. still within range, she still has a shot at this, remember. Rico, play. Now within one. The pressure. Is back on Gunji now. All of a sudden, but this was where, remember, that she reeled off seven in a row. Oh, that is exquisite from Gunji. Seven silver, 17, 15. Oh, nice drop. She really pushed her opponent. She's maybe just hurt herself there in the process. Drew her. And she's relieved that pressure again. Gunji. Emily. It doesn't look particularly comfortable at the moment. That arm. There's three very good points for Gunji. Two away now from wrapping up this match, but what Drew has done twice now, she has gone past 14 points, so that makes her the best performing French player today. That's a wonderful shot, isn't it, from Gunji? To set her up for match point, five of match them now. Point and she's pulled one back. Couple of points here. 17, Promising. 20. Could she save a few more? Okay. And that is it for this entire tie. Japan. With the clean sweep, Gunji had some stiff resistance here. Match There's a lot more to come. Japan, you 21, feel from 16, this 21, youngster, 17. Emily Drouin. She fought hard. She's accrued the most points by any French player today. And she's shown that she is someone to watch out for in the future. So most points any French player has accrued in this entire matchup. 33 points from her. She should be pleased with herself. She had a moment. She put Gunji under pressure, but Rico Gunji beats Emily Drouin 21 16, 21 17 in 35 minutes. And there you have it the clean sweep from Japan. It started with Akane Yamaguchi thrashing Leonie Sue. 
21-6, 21-8 in just about 25 minutes. A tougher match for Yuki Fukushima and Sayaka Hirota, but they eventually beat Vimala Erio and uh, Mago Lambert, 21-9, 21-12 in 42 minutes. A lot of rallies in that one. Sayaka Takahashi disposed of Yael Oyo fairly easily as well, 21-7, 21-8 in 26 minutes. And then we had the two Matsus, Mayu Matsumoto and Misaki Matsutomo beating Flavi Valle and Emily Vercello at two straight games as well, 21-14, 21-13. And the closest game we had was, the closest match we had was at the last one. Rico Gunji, though, eventually defeating Elmi Drouin, 21-16, 21-17 in 36 minutes. And uh, once again, as they did the last time they met in the Uber Cup, France have lost to Japan. It's a clean sweep for Japan. They win 5-0. Well, at 2 o'clock, uh, we will have Thomas Cup action. The men, Japan again, will be here, and um, they will be taking on England. For now, though, we bid you goodbye from the Impact Arena, and we'll see you in a few hours.